So hello, my name is Shane Smart, and I'm here to start a movement to translate human rights law into pictures. But let me take you on a journey. Last summer, I was on holidays. I took my wife and my two kids, and we went to Australia. And the airline that we chose to fly was with Malaysian Airlines. And exactly one week into our holiday, we learned of another Malaysian airline flight that was shot down over the Ukraine. We had flown on exactly the same, from exactly the same airport on exactly the same flight path with exactly the same airline just a week earlier. We were in shock. 283 people lost their lives on that flight. They were Dutch, Australians, and Malaysians. And I asked myself, how is it possible that the military are targeting civilian aircraft? There must be human rights law against this. There is. The Geneva Conventions is a body of human rights law that covers armed conflicts. It protects the wounded, both in the armed forces at land and at sea, and it protects prisoners of war, and importantly, it protects civilians like you and I. It's signed by 196 countries, and every country that signed it has a legal obligation to educate the population, both in the military and civilian, of the laws of the Geneva Conventions. But if I can ask you to raise your hands, who here has been educated in the content of the Geneva Conventions? Three people. Right. So the Geneva Conventions looks like this. It's a large body of text. It's more than 300 articles. And if they're not written in your language, you're not going to understand them. And if, you're, if you can't read, you're not going to understand them. So what if we took each article of the Geneva Conventions and we turned it into a picture, like this? It would be easy to understand, it would be easy to remember, and it would be easy to share. But how could we use it? Firstly, in schools, we can educate children from a very young age and remembering that some of the children now will be soldiers of the future. We can use it on the TV, we can use it in newspapers, and we can protest with it. And when we stand up and we protest, we're not protesting on our own of what we believe in, what we feel is right. We're protesting with 196 countries' laws backing us. We can remove plausible deniability in a courtroom. We can, how can somebody really stand up in court with a simple picture like this that a six-year-old understands and say they don't understand the Geneva Conventions. So this is a very short speech, but um, the, main, the main point here is that by turning it into pictures, we provide all civilians globally to meaningfully oppose their nation states in human rights abuses. So how do we get the movement started? This is the great bit. I'm really excited about this. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to start a workshop with 50 volunteers. We're going to take every article of the Geneva Conventions we're going to turn it into a picture. Then we're going to launch a crowdfunding campaign at or around the time of TEDx to professionalize the same look and feel across the pictures. Then after that, I'm going to speak at the sixth International Conference on Human Rights Education, both to promote the project and to learn about how um, we can get it into education systems. And then finally, in the start of next year, we're going to launch with all the pictures to the world. One global common language for human rights that everybody can understand, regardless of literacy. And what I'm asking for from the TEDx audience is, number one, to promote the idea to turn human rights law into pictures, either internationally or nationally within your country. Um, and secondly, if you want to fund the crowdfunding campaign, that'd be great. Join our movement. Thank you.